हेलो फ्रेंड्स एज वी नो रेनी सीजन हैज अराइव्ड एंड द इंसिडेंस ऑफ डेंगू हैज टेकन अ पीक डेंगू इज अ वेरी लार्ज टॉपिक सो वी हैव डिवाइडेड दिस इन टू वेरियस सेक्शंस लाइक कॉजेज पैथोविजियोलॉजी क्लिनिकल साइंस एंड सिम्टम्स क्लासिफिकेशन क्लिनिकल कोर्स ऑफ डेंगू इलनेस लेबोरेटरी डायग्नोसिस डिफरेंशियल डायग्नोसिस ट्रीटमेंट एंड प्रोफाइल एक्सेस ऑफ डेंगू सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो नाउ कमिंग टू इटियोलॉजी और कॉजेज ऑफ डेंगू इट इज ट्रांसमिटेड मोस्टली बाय फीमेल एडिज एजिप्टी और एडिज एल्बो पिक्टस एडिज एजिप्टी इज ऑल्सो नोन एज येल्लो फीवर मॉस्क्यूटो एडिज एल्बो पिक्टस इज ऑल्सो कॉमनली नोन एज एशियन टाइगर मॉस्क्यूटो और फॉरेस्ट डे मॉस्क्यूटो एडिज मॉस्क्यूटो आर ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज न्यूसेंस मॉस्क्यूटो बिकॉज इट बाइट्स मोस्टली इन डे आर्स and mostly collected in the stored water tanks pots and empty utensils some of the study has shown this species is most active for approximately 2 hours after sunrise and several hours before sunset so it is also called as daytime mosquito now how to identify these aedes mosquito normally aedes mosquito has a narrow and typically black body with unique patterns of light and dark scales on the abdomen and thorax they have a alternating light and dark scales or we can say alternative white and black bands on the legs and hence it is called as tiger mosquito or we can say it has a zebra type pattern now coming to risk factors for dengue one needs to be very careful while dealing with these cases first of all infants and young children are very prone pregnant women then elderly person obese person with diseases like hypertension and diabetes mellitus immunocompromised person person with hemolytic condition a person who is dealing with chronic liver disease and chronic kidney disease hemoglobinopathies for example sickle cell diseases and autoimmune diseases coming to pathophysiology of dengue when aedes mosquito bites it causes leakage of plasma due to increased capillary permeability which leads to dengue hemorrhagic fever or dengue shock syndrome Bleeding is most important manifestation in dengue hemorrhagic fever caused by capillary fragility and thrombocytopenia and it is manifested by petechial hemorrhages to life threatening GI bleed in more details we will discuss in the next video thank you guys please like share and subscribe to this channel take care